Hello, my YouTube friends. Now, I always say that it's important to make content beyond your live stream because YouTube's algorithm works differently for pre-recorded content than it does for live streaming. And there's a lot more chance you're gonna get found if you're actually producing some sort of pre-recorded content. But I do find that a lot of my audience who are looking for free editing programs find the program that I usually suggest, DaVinci Resolve, a little bit too difficult to just learn right out of the box. I totally get that. Now, a lot of my audience kept telling me about this new free editing application that is called CapCut, and they said it was really easy to use. So I thought, why not do a video where I use CapCut for the first time and see how easy it really is? And then you can see the difficulties that I have with it, but also learn kind of step by step how to bump clips together and create some interesting content from your live streams. So you know what? Let's get to it! I'm gonna start right from the install and go all the way through kind of my first experience with CapCut. It's gonna be a lot of fun. There are links in the description down below so you can check them out for yourself. This isn't sponsored, they're not even affiliate links. It's just a link to CapCut. So don't hesitate to go ahead and go there and download the program, follow along. Why not? That is the best way to learn. So here we are on the CapCut website and it says download for Windows. So I think I'm just gonna do that. And so there we go, it's downloading. So all we should have to do is go into our downloads folder and double click on the installer. Then I can click yes at the administrative prompt that you can't see. And it's just gonna run through the installer. Then it goes and tests your machine to see that you have a reasonably decent enough machine to actually do editing. And all you can do is click confirm once that's done and CapCut is installed. I'm gonna go ahead and maximize it and I'll just click on a new project. Now I just wanna remind you this is the first time I'm ever using this. So I'm gonna take an older video that I did and you can see my format is pretty simple. I've got an intro, a body, a close, and then I've got my screen captures for the tutorial stuff that I do. Uh, so all that stuff is already filmed and I'm just gonna go ahead and take that and drag it in here. Apparently you can't do that, so we're gonna click import and we're just gonna go and find that directory again. Let's do this one. And what I'm gonna do is just select all of these and open. And so now we have our files in here. So let's go ahead and start with our intro. I'll just drag this down here like that. And you can see it actually dragged everything in here, which is not what I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of that. And I'm just going to go to the intro video here and drag that down there. So we just want the intro. And I do find it interesting that we have the video in here and you know, you kind of get a little bit of the sound down there, but you can't really see it and i don't know exactly how we zoom in and out of this window so i guess it's right here okay so we can zoom in and out right here and we can turn snapping off there which is always nice to know we can actually do transcript based editing well now that's interesting so now it's going to analyze my transcript and so i can basically select stuff like that and delete it and delete this and basically that should be completely edited Reaction so it doesn't actually cut properly so we're going to go ahead and delete that and let's see what we get now Reaction videos are some of the most there we go and they're super easy to make and totally free. So today I'm gonna to show you how. So you know what? Let's get to it! Okay, so we can delete this. And I'm just right clicking and deleting. And then I'm gonna go and Drag this over here. What? Let's get to it. And so basically, that's pretty simple. So basically, 
I didn't know anything, but we managed to edit this entire video, uh, the intro of this video, that simply. So normally what we do then is I would just drag in the body right here, and we can go and do uh, transcript-based editing again. Now something like this would be super easy if you're doing a video game edit because you could go in and find the actual text you're looking for and be able to go ahead and clip those pieces out. So the main problem that I see with the way that this cuts stuff when you're using text-based editing is that it doesn't cut out the blank space. So in other words, we've got the end of my intro right here leading into the body. I cut everything up to the point where we actually had any information that we wanted, it makes bad cuts. So it's definitely something that can be fixed, but it's not its not great right now. Also, when I did a cut there, it automatically brings up this to the next one. So that would take some getting used to. Um, I understand that when you do a cut, you know, you kind of just want to cut, but you want to leave that space. So, yeah. That's not necessarily what I'm looking for. So let's see what we've got up here. We can analyze audio or if we go to audio, it obviously has music tracks and that sort of stuff that you can add in. That's kind of interesting. You can run a copyright check. That's pretty fascinating. You've got sound effects and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we have some text tools right here. So we've got default and presets. You can sign in to CapCut and use presets if you like. I'm not sure if those are paid or not. AI generated. So you can create text effects with simple prompts. Well, that's interesting. Um, so it's actually going to make me sign in. I can just sign in with my Google. And so there we are. Now I should be able to generate this. Oh, all right. So that is the text. All right. So it doesn't let you do more than... A certain number so all right and then this I would assume is the description let's just try red button with a drop shadow and see what we get I don't know oh so we put it right there it adds it in so there's not any animation to it or anything like that it just kind of appears it's kind of interesting and so you can obviously zoom it in, rotate it, all that kind of stuff. That's pretty interesting. All right, so that's what AI generated is. Let's go ahead and cut that. Effects, so we can add text effects. And there we go, got it. And so let's see, what does that do, anything? It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, Available for so it just kind of appears. It's nothing particularly interesting. Let's see. So these ones marked with Pro, I assume, are ones that uh, you have to have a paid account for. And so these just appear. All right. So now we know. Pretty cool, though. It seems like there are just hundreds of these, which is very, very neat. And then text templates. Wow, this is kind of cool. So you've got kind of like a lower third here. So you can download it, install it. And there we go. All right. So this would be kind of like a lower third that you could put in your video. You could place it down here. Very cool. You can change the position and size and the text, obviously. You can change your font and the color of the text. So we can go with a yellow text. All right, and let's see here. So fonts, you basically have the ones that they have. So you don't have stuff that are on your machine, it doesn't look like. And let's see, so we have all these different types of text we can use. That's pretty cool. Could get a background on there. Nice. All right. I like it. We can add stroke and the color is black. It's already checked. 
We can adjust the thickness. We can add a background color. Very nice. Very, very nice. So pretty detailed text tools in here. I like it. So let's take a quick look at that, how that works. So you can download it, install it, and check. Pretty cool. We've got ourselves a pretty nifty lower third. So you can download it, install it, and check it out for yourself. It doesn't really disappear in a way that makes a lot of sense. It just kind of, boom, it's gone, but whatever. That's all right. There's a lot of really cool text pieces in here and it looks like a lot of them are free. Um, you know, I like free, free is good. We've got uh, social media. So you can put social media links in here. This is pretty cool. This is like the subscribe thing I was already looking for. So we could drag it down in here and it's already going to be there. So you can just place it wherever you want. You can probably add a sound effect to it for the little bell. So if we go uh, into audio and we went to sound effects, we could look for bell. And all this stuff is included, which is very cool. Let's see. All right, that'll work. So we could drag this down there. And then we just have to go and see where our bell dings. And it starts to ding right there. Let's see how that works. There we go. Super simple with, with tools that are already included in here. So we've got titles and blog and there's looks like there's a whole heck of a lot of stuff, 3D. And there is a lot of stuff here that's totally free. Now there are pro things down here as well, but there's a lot of non-pro things that you can use. So very cool, very, very cool. And this just keeps going on and on. So there are all kinds of text template things, um, auto captioning. So apparently you could do auto captions that will take the words right from the thing and we can load captions, stickers, pretty cool stuff. Let's go to effects here. And it looks like you can add a simple effect. Look at that, very cool. So we can add this over top of our video, just like that. Very cool. Let's go ahead and delete that. Body effects, what are those? Oh, let's see how something like that might work. Oh, look at that, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. So there are definitely a lot of cool, simple things that you can add into your thing. You know, super easy effects that you can just drag and drop right on there. That's very cool. Let's try some transitions. So all we have to do is, I would assume, put these in between. And there we go. And see what happens. Now you know what each section is for. So now we're transitioning between one and the other and boom, it drags it over. Let's see if we select this, we could change the duration. You can see what that does there. Turns it down or up and we can go ahead and delete it. Let's see what other transitions we got here. Yeah, vertical blur, kind of interesting. Let's go and drop that right here and which I would definitely recommend that you do. All right, well, there we go. So really simple transitions that you can add and we can see that they have ones that are just in the pro overlays. I like the fact that you could just put your mouse over top of them and see what you've got. It's amazing how easy this is, even with a free tool to do these edits. So let's see what we've got with filters. Ah, so this is like a color grade. Very nice. Can we actually see a pro one? We can. So you can preview these pro ones. All right. Very cool. And we can go into filters 
dig down a little bit and see some of the other ones. Movies. So maybe they've got like famous movie type color grading. Blue gray. Oh yes, the orange. Very cool. This is really easy to use and pretty fun. So this will allow you to load in your own LUT, which is basically what filters are already doing, and then templates. All right. So these are like uh, bumpers that would be, you know, you would put it in between two different things. I'm not sure if you'd call them intros, but there's business ones. So you can just basically create or drag these down in here and use them as templates. You can change the text, all that sort of stuff. Very, very cool. I kind of like it. I do, uh, I do have an issue with the fact that so many of them are vertical and most of us are going to be creating horizontal videos, but you can easily use some old videos with these templates to create a, a really cool little intro or bumper or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, this, uh, this tool is pretty comprehensive and easy to use. All right, so let's see how we would export this. We're gonna go up here to the top right. We're gonna click export and we've got our title and we can just call this test. And where do we want that to go? Well, gee whiz. And we could select our resolution and our frame rate. And it gives you a duration, the file size, all that kind of stuff down here. We can adjust our bit rate higher or lower. This is gonna adjust the packing of the pixels, basically. So our codec, we have three different ones we can choose from. This is pretty basic as far as exporting goes, but given the length of time and all that sort of stuff, it looks like it's exporting relatively quickly. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with CapCut and how super easy it is to use and how many really cool features there are. If you guys want me to do maybe a deeper dive into CapCut and show you a little bit more about it, let me know in the comments. So I find CapCut, especially for free, to be a pretty doggone good value. But when we're really talking about it from a basics perspective, well, it does everything that a new streamer who is going to cut up their videos would want. I especially like the feature where it will actually allow you to do text edits. Sure, it doesn't do them perfectly, but you can get it right to the exact location and you can go down in your timeline and edit it up from there. Finding the locations that you want to cut out is sometimes the most difficult part about editing. It can take a really long time. In this case, you can go right to the first word that you know you said and cut everything else out just using the timeline. So while the text-based editing leaves a bit to be desired, it's gonna get you exactly to the location that you wanna start editing really quickly. I also found it to be infinitely easier than any other editing software that I've found out there, but it isn't missing those little things that can take your edit to the next level. In fact, I thought it added so many really cool simple transitions and little things that you can put on top of it, flourishes and effects, and I can't believe how easy they are to use. You're really not going to find another program out there that's going to add the kind of effects that this adds that easily. And that makes it really powerful for a basic editor, someone who doesn't know anything. You can play around with this program for an hour or two and be able to put together a pretty comprehensive and awesome looking edit right out of the box. It's really simple. I was totally surprised. And at this point, I don't think I would recommend DaVinci Resolve for someone beginning to edit just because it's free. I think you can get pretty far using CapCut and it's not really missing any of the things that a beginner editor is going to use to create content. Eventually, maybe a year or two down the road when you become a more advanced editor, are you gonna want more advanced tools? Maybe, maybe not. I feel like CapCut is moving along in kind of the way that it's going to grow 
with the actual editor and it's going to end up with all of those tools that you might want from DaVinci Resolve anyways. But who knows? All I know is it is definitely the perfect beginner's editing tool for anyone out there who does live streams and wants to cut those up into entertaining and fun videos later. But that's just what I think. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you want to see a video that gives you kind of the basics in DaVinci Resolve because you want to compare, well check this video out right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.